Welcome, this is Akram Kilani from Kilani Jewelry and today we're going to display for you guys fake jewelry that was purchased by one of our clients thinking to save 5,000. Kilani Jewelry. She actually ended up leaving us to save this 5k and not realizing she spent thousands of dollars on fake Rolex and a fake Cuban. Now, if you're watching us, please don't forget to leave us a comment, share, like, or subscribe to our channel so we can bring you more stories like this in the future. Now, our client or our friend, she came back to our complex to bring in her Cuban chain to actually give it a polish and clean, thinking she has a real diamond Cuban chain. Now, once she handed it over to us, including the watch, immediately, there was a spark in my brain saying there's something wrong in here. And once I stared at this watch and I said, are you sure this Rolex is real? She said, yes, I spend this much money on it. I spent that much money, which she spent about 35K American dollars on this watch. And she spent 30K on this chain, 65,000 American in total for fake chain, fake watch. Now let's take you in closer in here to see this watch. It was made so proper. Look at the clip, everything with the signature and the engraving and the stamp, even on the case itself from the inside here, you actually see the stamps by Rolex. Everything in here looks extremely real. I brought you guys a real watch but made with cheaper quality diamonds. But just know that there is a lot of people that we seen over here actually had fake watches buzzed down with real diamonds, not knowing they actually made their purchases on real diamond with fake watches. Now this lady definitely didn't make a hit. She made a purchase on a fake watch and fake stones. Both ways, she has made a big loss for herself. Look at this. This here is cubic zirconia. Here is a real Rolex with diamond. Everything we do here at Kalani is real. The quality of these diamonds are SIVS. We have it as a sample to show people the difference between the qualities once they look at our watches, comparing it to others. And I brought you VVS diamonds done with the Toronto Max setting. This is Toronto Max, this is flower setting. Look at the difference right here. If you can tell the difference onto the case, the quality, everything in here can show you the difference. I'm gonna put this fake watch beside all the real ones. And tell me yourself, if you actually see a difference or can tell there's a fake one in between. Now, you need to find reliable people that actually looks after you, care about your investment and care about their names. When you go in and make big purchases like this, many people actually never ask themselves, should I go and check behind my jeweler? That is a big question because I've seen many people actually carrying fake Rolexes, fully bust down with diamonds, thinking they actually have the real ones. But once the watch breaks, and they have to go repair it and the watch gets open and they realize it's a fake watch with real diamonds. Wow, what happens now? I'll tell you, probably 80, 90% of the time the jewelers don't actually do this on purpose. They usually make their purchases just like you by going to convention centers or going to wholesalers or buying jewelry of people that walking in from the street right to their jewelry shops to sell them value goods like this for good prices. Now imagine the jeweler buys this off someone from the street walking into his jewelry store and he gives him $10,000. Now, you think this jeweler is gonna take this loss? I don't think so. So what these people would do, same way they got fooled, they will look for another person like you with no knowledge on how to tell something is fake or real and that's when you fall in the trap. But let's take you to make you understand how can you catch the difference if you 
going to make your purchase on a Rolex if it's plain or bust out. Look at the gap of this band right here attaching to here. You see the opening is very close. Look at the gap over here. You can see a distance. Now, the height of this bar, which is the bar here, versus the height here, if you take in the look from the side, do you see how high is this versus this? You see how it's raised in here? You can see it raised, that is definitely fake. Now, let's go down to the casing and the printing in here. This is a stamp, this is engraving. That's why you see it kind of like very light in here and that's how you make the difference. Look at the thickness here versus the thickness in here. This is the real, this is the fake. And now let's take you right here into the buckle. The middle part in here, fake versus real, it's raised. So it's more higher in the middle here than here. Even the thickness of the buckle from the side, you can tell it's thicker, higher. We're gonna open these two watches and we're gonna take you closely into the machine. All right, guys, now we are going to check on which watch is real, which watch is fake. I've explained to you already earlier, but now we're going to open it with our watchmaker right here at Toronto Max Factory. And we're gonna take you step by step by taking the pins to compare between the original and the fake, including the machine. Let's go. So this is the pin for the fake one. Okay, so this is a pin that came out from this one. And this is the original pin. Wow, what a difference. You see the thickness? Let's open up. Look, guys, this is the real buckle. This is the fake buckle. Look at the thickness here versus the thickness here on the bar right here on the plate. Big difference in here. Wow, they actually perfected this whole entire thing. So exact. Yeah, the finishing, the polishing. Yeah. It looks like it's one company made it. Wow, okay, let's open up the machines. Okay, guys, he, we brought in this catalog to show you all the fake movement. Look at the movement. It's $110. This is the full worth of this watch. Let's get in. Let's see the movement. Okay, let's take in the difference first. The caps. This is the fake one versus the real one. They almost did everything that Rolex does in the inside. Just the thickness here is more bolder versus the fake one is less. But wow, 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 it's almost identical. See, this is the fake, this is the real one right here. Okay, look guys, let's move it here. Look at this part versus this part, this is the original. The amount of tools, each single piece is a tool, each screw. This is the fake one, it's completely plain. Look at the real one, always has the engraving of Rolex, Geneve, Swiss, and every single thing about this watch goes all around. And the number. Including the number right here, which is the number of the watch itself. Okay, now look, these purples are very important in these watches. It's not available on here at all. Okay, now look at these screws right in the, the mechanical movement right here versus the one here. Look, bigger, more bolder, different, and the, color. and the color is different. The machine here is bigger. The machine here is actually smaller. So you see the size of this machine? Comparing to the machine over here is smaller, but here's is about 33 mm in the inside. Here you're looking at around 25 mm circle. Look at the part, how it's standing out versus the parts here yeah. sticking down. Now look at the band in here. I showed you guys before. The gap in here is huge versus no gap in here whatsoever. So this whole video is to show you guys the difference between fake and real and give you guys knowledge, information on how to be aware on how to shop your jewelry, watches, gold and diamonds. This is Akram from Kalani Jewelry, Toronto Max Factory. 
and we have opened up a fake Rolex versus a real Rolex so you can tell the difference. Remember to subscribe to our channel right now to catch more videos like this.